welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are I'm going to be showing you some small upgrades I have made to my previous builds and this you see in the background. Um I've made a bee enclosure. So first let's put this back. So first things first, I'm going to show you what's in the, whoops, in the double chest. There are glass bottles, um, a full large chest of them, and there is flint and steel and shears. Before we use those, I will show you um, what is included. So first I used path blocks um, for the paths, and there are multiple types of flowers, which include orange tulips, red tulips, white tulips, pink tulips, oxide daisies, corn flowers, lily of the valleys, sunflowers, poppies, and it, it repeats again. If we put this back, This is, these are all the flowers, and these are the bees. If I hold any flower in hand, um, the bees come to me, and I can breed them, which cause a, causes a baby bee to come, so I can feed the baby bee, so it can grow up, and... Now we have another adult bee. So now onto the next portion, which is, well, getting, getting honey and honeycomb. So the first thing we'll need is flint and steel, and the second thing we'll need is shears. We'll also need a glass bottle. So here is a glass bottle. Now we'll go on to, we'll go to one of the um, uh, beehives. The first thing we'll need to do is open the trap door, which exposes the, um, the, campfire and then we'll take the flint and steel and light the campfire on fire the campfire will smoke the bees um, out and it will make them drowsy therefore not letting them attack um, this is an official feature not just one that I made up myself so the first thing I mean the next thing we need to do is get this glass bottle and use it then we have a honey bottle and you can drink it. It restores food points. The next thing we need to do is unlight the fire. We can do that by getting a splash um, water bottle. Um, so here it is. Now the fire is unlit and it's not full to the brim now. So for the second thing that I w would like to show you, um, basically you do the same thing, except it involves shears. First we need flint and steel, we need to light it on fire. Um, next, we need to use the shears on the beehive. Um, after that, we get, whoops. Let's try it on another one, since I already had honeycomb in the inventory, so let's do it. Um, let's share it. Um, I got three honeycomb. It's three honeycomb for all of them. Let me show you. Now I have nine honeycomb 
and we can unlight it. And that's three honeycomb per beehive. And after that, we can use it to to make um, honey blocks or honeycomb blocks. Um, honey blocks in redstone circuit three can be used like slime blocks, except the texture is different. So this is what honey blocks look like. Um, let me make a two by two of it. So this is what honey blocks look like. If you step on it, um, it slows you to a snake pace. Um, and it makes a sticky sound because it's honey. And here is a honeycomb block. If you walk on it, it doesn't slow you down. So this is um, the bee enclosure that I made. The next thing I want to show you is some improvements that I made to the builds. So the first thing I made as an improvement is I, I made it more even. So um, on one side there was three um, three blocks and on the other side there was one block so I made it that's what I remember so I made it two blocks thick on each side so it's it looks more even and we can still access it by elytra elytra or however you pronounce it the next improvement I made was to the ravager enclosure um, I added a few blocks to the sides, like over here, 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 and then the stone blocks. I added slabs instead of blocks. And then after that, I added stairs. I noticed that it was pretty abrupt, like it just stopped over here. So I added some more stone, I mean, not stone, um, oak wood stairs to make it more natural and it's basically the same the next thing i improved was this originally there was um there were the the wood was looking like it was not very even because one would be going that way one would be going this way and it would be messy so i changed it all into going straight like straight logs of wood like logs of wood placed in this um manner i should say um so that's one improvement i made and also while i was working on the improvements the nether wart was growing and i noticed that most of the nether wart is fully grown i might harvest it later thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel um, Please subscribe and hit the like button. Um, if if you subscribe, remember to hit the bell icon for notifications, so you would be able to get notified on new videos. Thank you for watching. Be sure to visit my blog at blogafayan.wordpress.com. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Bye.